in this video i am going to explain eight must know function for kcfx 991 es calculator these are the most important functions for your examination be it sat ap psat or any other engineering or mathematical examination the first function i am going to talk about is calc function and i would say this is the most important one of the most important function of your calculator in order to explain this let us say we have an expression at least for the simplicity we'll take a very simple expression let's say 2x plus 1 and we would like to find out the value of this expression when the value of x is let's say 5 so i'll push calc i'll push 5 I'll hit equals to and it will straight away give me the value of the expression so 5 times 2 10 plus 1 11 once again if I would like to find out the value of this for let's say 2 I'll just again put in the value and it will give me the value as 2x plus 1 equals to 5 or for that matter if we have an expression like sine of x plus cos of x and let's find out the value of this expression when the value is let's take a random value let's say 10 and it quickly gives you the value so basically calc function gives you the value of expression when you put in the value of the variable second function is solve function and basically this is the secondary function of calc what it does it solve any given equation so let's say we have a simple equation let's say 2 times x plus 1 equals to 5 and i would like to know the value of x so I'll push shift and solve at this point of time it will solve for x is hit equals to and it will give you the value of x as 2 so you know 1 goes to the right hand side becomes 4 2x equals to 4x equals to 2 so this is how it solves it for you you can take any other expression as well so let us say let's solve another equation so 2 raised to the power x equals to 37 what is the value of x so i'll say shift solve and hit equals to and there you go it gives you the value of x so basically it solves any given equation third function is eng engineering what it does so let us say we are doing a uh, little complex equation or somehow we reached a solution like this and we would like to and let's let, let me multiply it with a decimal number as well okay and uh, you would like to put this into engineering format you just push engineering and it gives you one format you push it again it gives you 10 raised to the power 6 you push it again and it gives you 10 raised to the power 3 so whatever is the standard that you would like to use it gives you in that format required when uh, in examination you are asked to write answer any given format fourth important function is minute degree second or hexadecimal function and uh, this is the button just above engineering is the button for that so let us say you have written something or you have calculated some values there and you would like to change it to hexadecimal or in terms of minute degree and second format so you can do like 81 8125 degree 0 minutes and 0 seconds if had you had some seconds into the calculation it would have given you that as well and 
and uh, also you can enter the values like this as well and let it do the calculation plus one just for instance so you can quickly do the calculation in hexadecimal format as well in order to convert into fraction use the button st next function is constant and uh, you know uh, this is something you may be using in uh, examination some of the constant are pre-stored in your calculator so the secondary function of second is constant let's push shift and seven and see basically it asks you to input a number from zero till 40 on back of the calculator you can see in the sliding case you can see these constant and you know the variable assigned to every constant so you can refer to that and you can put in so let's say i just put in 0 2 and hit equals to it gives you the value of this so this is again very useful function very useful feature of your calculator must use it the next one is conversion this function helps you convert values from one unit to another so for example okay let's see what is there in conversion first of all so again you'll have to use the slide case to figure out which is what let's check randomly what is where so this converts from inch to centimeter so for instance if we had 25 inches and we would like to convert it to cent Meter. I'll use 0 1 so it says 25 inches in this centimeter the moment you push equals to it gives you the value in order to put this into decimal use the SD button okay let's see what else are there so I'll push shift and 8 again let's try with 0 2 and this is basically centimeter the inches let's see one Let's try with another number. Let's try with 0 05. And this it converts from yard to meter. So you can always refer to your sliding case and figure out which correspond to what unit conversion and you can utilize it accordingly. The seventh function is stat function. Stat is the secondary function of one. So first of all, you'll have to go to the mode. So let us go in the statistics, push number three to go to statistics. And let's say we would like to do a one variable statistics. Let us put in the values here. Let's let's just type in some random value. Let's say we would like to calculate the one variable statistics for these random observations. Okay. And now in order to do it what i'll do i'll go to stat and there you can see you can you know so let's say we would like to find out let's push number four standard deviation number three hit enter and it calculates the value for you let's go into statistics again and let's go to war or you can go into distribution as well or minimum maximum so for example you would like to go to minimum maximum i would like to find out minimum the moment you hit equals to it gives you a minimum value as still so this command gives you option to all these you know functions or statistics and the eighth function is matrix function so in order to use matrix let's go into mode again and hit six to go into matrix and let's say mat a b we will define a matrix so let's say we would like to define a 3 by 3 matrix let's just put in the valley i have a dedicated video on matrix i am sharing the link at the top you can check out the video all right so this is my matrix i just get rid of this right now i'll hit shift and go into matrix secondary function of four and let's say I would like to find out so you can see various functions here I'll, I'll I would like to find out determinants I'll use 7 I need to select my matrix so again I'll put shift and 4 to go into matrix and I'll select my matrix a that is 3 
I'll push equals to and there you go it calculates my determinants of matrix A as negative 35 similarly you can see there's so many functions you would like to you can calculate transpose or you you, you can multiply matrix A so let's say I would like to multiply matrix A by 3 it, it does those kind of scalar calculations as well so hope you like these uh, eight functions one of the most important function i would say it is not functional but something that you must get acquainted with is your setup i have another uh, exclusive video on setup you can click on the link above to check out the video please do share your comment how you like the video and let me know if you want me to make a video on any function. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.